Good morning guys, Adam Ovink here. So I had a bunch of questions in regards to why I like the fifth wheel prep system that GM and Ford have and what are the advantages to that. Well, when I had my 16 mega cab, the puck system was fairly, you know, not as prevalent. People, all the manufacturers had it, um, but people weren't necessarily ordering it. And that uh, BMW hitch I order was very specific to that truck. Um, it only worked with that puck system. Well, as we get to now, uh, it's kind of nice to know, are they all the same? Well, they're not. They're not all going to be universal. And that kind of creates a pot problem, especially if you think you want to skip manufacturers at some point, or you just really love a hitch that you have. Um, so let's take a look at the Chevy one. So we can kind of see right here, the uh, Chevy puck system is 13 inches roughly. I'm not gonna take the caps off quite yet, but just I'm just gonna show you there is a pretty big difference. So 13 um, and 21 uh, inches. Now the gooseneck, I did a video on that and those balls are universal, uh, pretty much from any manufacturer they can drop in here. Unless you get the one that's specifically for the BMW hitch, then that kit for BMW will only work with that. But if you get BMW's universal ball set, that'll work in Nissan, uh, Ford and Chevy So now we're over in the general so the, the ft50 so you can see it's uh, it is quite a bit of a difference This way now that it has nothing to do with strength or integrity It's just is the way the the rails and everything work with the system um, In these trucks how the manufacturers build them so you can see that if you had a specific hitch that went with the puck system in a Ford uh, you know, where you just drop the hitch right into these holes, then you'd kind of be up the creek and wouldn't be able to reuse it. We all know that those can be pretty expensive. Now, if you're just getting into fifth wheeling and you think, you know, that you're gonna buy a Ford, but maybe you want a Chevy, or you're gonna change in a couple years, or, or you just think that that might be a possibility, then you might be reluctant to um, buy a whole setup that's just distinctively for this. So I'm going to show you how uh, this works and how I found out a couple years ago to invest initially. It really wasn't that much more because I liked the hitch that I had. Um, because one thing's for sure, if you don't get this puck system and you have to use frame rails with above bed plates for your fifth wheel, um, and that's basically going to be those flat steel pieces that have the little uh, grooves in them so you can set your hitch in there and pin them down. That then imposes on the bed. So that's why I like this system because I can take it in and out. Now, there's a whole nother thought process where people say, well, I'll just convert my fifth wheel to a gooseneck. Uh, I don't know about that, especially when you get into the larger fifth wheels. I don't think that's a good idea because your surface area is uh, very small for the connection versus the bigger fifth wheel plate. But that'll be a whole nother video where we can talk about that because I know a lot of people have put 40 foot fifth wheels to a gooseneck and typically when you use a gooseneck um i know i said this would be another video but when you use a gooseneck the the point's right here but your center of gravity on the trailer is low and below usually the bumper of the truck well fifth wheels center of gravity is way higher all right so back when i bought my setup for my patriot hitch now that has the standard little connection points on there for if you have in bed plates okay um but again i like being able to use my puck system so kurt uh, makes one specifically that actually works for both Ford and Chevy. So this is set up for my Ford. And why this works even nicer for me is because for the channel, we're going to be alternating the hitch. So this is literally four bolts and nuts on each you know, side. And I flip these, these cams around. And I'll show you here in just a little bit when I flip them around and put them in the Chevy. This is set up for the Ford. So I take the caps out, drop it in, put the pins in there, lock them in here. Drop this fifth wheel right here into here, and I'm good to go. Uh, I will have to spin those off, which is a 19 millimeter. It's not a big deal. They're carriage bolts, so they have a like a square end on there that catches on the steel. Um, so really, it's a simple way to, to take it loose. Yeah, it's once you set it up for most uh, general consumers, you're not going to be switching every you know every other time you know within the same day you'll probably never be switching it but what's nice is then you can take your hitch out in two different pieces uh, you can upgrade your hitch you can change your hitch um, and not have to have one that's specifically for the puck system so i'm going to go get this set up in the chevy because the chevy is going to be doing the towing first this weekend um, but like i said if i didn't have this plate 
then I'd have to have either an embed plate um, and or an actual hitch that sat directly in each factory system, which you're talking several thousand dollars to do that. So, all right, guys. So once you get into your truck, these come out by putting the flat blade in there, just pushing them lightly. They'll pop out to get them back in. Very similar there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move these around and basically if you keep the instructions So I've done this a couple times um, It'll show you how it how you do it, but basically this arm just flips around this way and then we'll set it in the hole All right guys, so it literally took about five minutes. Of course, I've done this a couple times Well more than a couple times, but I'm a little more used to it But literally if you have like an impact gun you can zip those off even faster and back in and then we'll put the pins in these pieces and then she's in now you might say well i wouldn't even waste my time with that i would just get a system that's made because i'm going to keep the chevy forever i'm going to keep my ford forever keep you know this system doesn't work with ram but um and that's okay but say you're coming from a truck that is pre this so say a 2011 lml and you just love your hitch you spend big money, you got a nice pull right, you got a nice BMW, and it has the standard rail plates. Well, if your new truck has this, instead of having to go find another new hitch uh, that now works for this, or get plates and the hitch, uh, you can just buy this adapter. Again, if you go ahead and, you can't put plates if you have the puck system in there that go in the frame. But if you have the pucks, you can buy this. I think I got it for like two seventy nine. I don't know what the prices are on it right now, but I got it on Amazon. If you search the internet, I will put the, the part number in the description. They'll take you to probably Kurt's website, but then you can just search from there uh, to find the best deal. But say you do have that older thing and you love your hitch. Well, for half the cost of a hitch, you can buy this, drop your hitch in there, use it for as long as you want and then when you're ready to go haul drywall or something like that you can just take your hitch out and easily flip those bars and and take them out of the system and and uh and everything in addition to that this also gives you a little bit more height so in these newer truck beds these are taller than they ever have been and one thing you gotta watch out for is pivoting and crushing the front of that fifth wheel into the top of the bed so this will actually give you a little bit more height uh, for your older hitch or any hitch and then if you have a BMW or some of the pull rights You can actually adjust from there inside the hitch But sometimes you don't get enough and this will give you enough where you can lower it if you needed to if it's too high uh, But it, there are a lot of good benefits to it. I'm gonna get the hitch and we'll slide it in All right guys, so that's it. So filming doing everything setting that all up uh, Literally took less than 15 minutes um, and if you were to put the uh, lower frame rails on the above uh, rail plates in the bed you'd be talking several hours if we uh, even can uh, do all that yourself um, this is easily to do yourself and um, yeah so if you guys have any questions feel free to ask if not head down to that corner there hit the subscribe button we got some towing to do this weekend uh, sorry towing um, and I uh, appreciate you guys all being here see you on the next one